so I just finished the series finale, episode six of I Know This Much Is True, and uh, just got done wiping my tears away with some uh, some tissue there. You no, know, very emotional season finale. We we finally figure out who the the father of Thomas and Dominic is. We get the a relationship I didn't really see blossoming between um, Dominic and Ray, and um, you know we find out what happens to Thomas. We're gonna talk about all that and much more. Episode 6 of I Know This Must Is True, a lifetime of animosity between Dominic and Ray spills over in a public and inopportune time. After an unexpected tragedy, Dominic seeks reconciliation with those he has hurt. The question that has plagued Dominic all his life is finally answered. Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. Elliot here with my final review of the series finale of HBO's I Know This Much Is True, Episode 6. Did not hold any punches. Uh, very excited to talk about this finale, the show as a whole, and just break it all down in this discussion, this spoiler recap review. Uh, this has been such a fun last six weeks. Uh, fun by the sense of interacting with you all, but this show has been really heavy. But excited to be here tonight to talk about this series finale. Before we dive into it, as you can see on the screen now, make sure you're following me on my social media accounts. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new content. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Helps out the channel, but I also really appreciate it. And if and when you've seen this series, series finale of I Know This Much Is True. Share your thoughts in the comments below, uh, not only on this episode, but as the season. Let me know your thoughts, your pros, your cons. What did you think about the finale again? And for those that have read the book, let me know how well this was adapted on the small screen for HBO. Let me know your thoughts for those book readers. But as we've been doing this last six weeks, again, I have to say it up top once again, guys. Uh, I have really appreciated talking to you all with this show. Uh, this this series of episode reviews that I've been doing hasn't been getting the biggest hits, biggest reviews, but it's been the conversations I've been having with you all. It's been worth more than views can ever give me as far as satisfaction. So this has been an honor and a privilege to be talking about this show with you all for the last six, six weeks. So just wanted to make sure sure you all know that that I appreciate that and I thank you all for tuning in every week so man I'm not gonna lie guys this, this episode got to me again we all know the show has been really heavy nothing's been held back in regards to the tragedies that's gone down seeing everything with Thomas and Dominic seeing Dominic's past his loss of a daughter loss of his uh um you know marriage and you know, we saw what happened in this episode, so let's just go ahead and start off with this recap and just kind of breaking down my thoughts of this episode, and then we'll dive into my thoughts of the uh, the season and everything and everything in between and performances and all that stuff. So we start off in the falls. Uh, first and foremost, you know, we've seen the falls throughout the, the season. Beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, you know, we see Dominic acts. Thomas has seen Ralph, which is a very pivotal part of this episode and then the show that I didn't even really pay attention to, but, you know, he talks about that, and again, I just really thought that those falls, it just, you know, that moment that they kind of share together and you just see in Dominic kind of maybe seeing his last moments right as we all know as the scene kind of plays out later on but you know he really this is this a really quiet moment right because we don't we haven't seen them two together outside of the facility since episode one so it was just a nice moment to kind of see Dominic and Thomas together for as we know as the last time so we you know we see Thomas and Dominic go back to Dominic's place and this is where the episode just really start to get at, pull at the heartstrings. We see, you know, Dominic taking care of Thomas, putting on his pajamas, and Thomas tells him, you know, thank you. Thank you for taking care of me. And it's just like, you know, moments like that, it's just like, again, we, we haven't seen them that much interaction outside of their facility, again, outside of episode one, but we've seen them interact throughout the season. And every time they interact, it's just, there's the restraints, right? They can't hug each other. They can't really communicate with each other because of the, the, you know, everything was a facility. So just seeing that moment and, and, and Thomas acknowledging the love of his brother and vice versa was just a, a really, really uh, a, a good payoff to say the least, you know, for those brothers to share that moment. But you know, as Lisa had mourned Dominic, you know, this is a full-time job with Thomas, right? So we see that they both fall asleep and a car alarm goes off. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that Thomas took, the, the, I, I guess, let me know in the comments, did he take Dominic's car to get to the falls? Did he walk there, drive there, and, you know, taxi there? I, I really don't remember. I have to rewatch the episode, but you know, unfortunately, you know, Dominic realizes that Thomas is gone. He calls the cops. He obviously calls Ray. And, you know, the cop says to him, is there any place that your brother would be right now? And, you know, I, as the audience, you know, I immediately thought he's at the falls, you know. And, you know, unfortunately, they go to the falls. They drive down there. And uh, this is the opening scene, ladies and gentlemen. This is to show you where this show was at emotionally. This We find out that Thomas, uh, unfortunately, went under the waters and um, he died, you know, which I think we can all say we saw this show definitely not having like a happy ending, which in a way it did and we'll obviously get to that but 
we all talked about it last week in the comments, and I mentioned in my review. I don't think going to the falls is going to be a good idea. Uh, and, you know, like I said, we tragically see what happens to Thomas, and we'll obviously get to the character breakdowns at the end, but that moment really got to me because it was just like, you, I was hoping that things were going to work out and that they were going to find some type of situation for Thomas to kind of live in, whether it be with Dominic or going to a facility that takes care of him and having people like Dr. Patel and having people like Lisa kind of taking care of him. But, uh, you know, that was a really sad moment seeing that Thomas had died in that particular moment. And as I repeat, that was the opening scene. So I already knew the rest of the episode was just going to be uh, a wreck for me in regards to just the emotional level. So we see that play out. And I'm just thinking to myself at this point, you know, I just remember the promise that Dominic made to his mom, you know, on her deathbed in regards to take care of your brother. Um, and I just just imagine, you know, what Dominic was going through in that moment because unfortunately, you know, his brother died, you know. And then I think of the curse, obviously, that we found out last week from his grandfather's second wife. Uh, and, and she's saying to him, your life, you know, the next seven generations or whatever it was is going to be filled with death and disease. And we know that this family has seen a lot of death uh, and, and disease. So that uh, that that curse seems to have been something that's coming true. Uh, so as we kind of break down the rest of the episode, we get another uh, Ozark character. Uh, you know, we get for those that watch season one of Ozark and season two. You know, we see Buddy. Uh, you know, we got Omar Navarro a couple episodes ago, but we got Buddy again. I love Ozark from from the people out there. If you're not watching Ozark, not to digress from this review, watch Ozark. Great show. Uh, but we see Buddy as he's uh, you know at the funeral of Thomas, and we see. Dominic kind of recollecting this particular moment when they were children where, you know, the mom, um, uh, Connie is having a tea party with Thomas. And, you know, I remember this from very early in the season that, and we, we've been getting hints of this throughout the season that, you know, Ray was very hard on them and didn't want Thomas to be acting a certain way. Cause Thomas seems to had, you know, embrace himself and more, uh, not masculine things as Ray, uh, looked at it upon. He had tea parties, right? So we see that that scene kind of plays out, you know, Dominic, I took it as in a sense of kind of maybe jealousy because when Tom, when uh, Ray gets home, we see Dominic eating the the pudding or whatever it was that his mom said not to do. We see him destroying the kitchen, putting flour over the floor, just probably acting out of it. Like I said, he's a kid. He's probably jealous that he doesn't have that same relationship that uh, Thomas and, um, you know, his mom had. We see Ray comes home, which, by the way. And this is just another side note, just praising the show, the de-aging or the, the making the older characters look younger. When you see a young uh, Connie or see a young, uh, you know, Ray walking the door, I just thought the show, again, we'll get to all that towards the end. But I was just like so amazed by the uh, the production and the, the attention to detail in the show. But, you know, we see Ray is pissed. He goes upstairs, throws Connie against the wall, breaks her arm, grabs Thomas, throws him in the closet. It's just their life as children to teenagers to adults we see how it was in college and we see how it is in their adults those kids had it had it pretty bad so we see all that play out but in the midst of this kind of recollection we're seeing the present timeline when they're at the funeral and essentially you know we see dominic um calls ray out you know for the way he treated them but also he takes some blame of himself you know he's saying that him and ray were a team right that they both weren't good to Thomas they both kind of treated Thomas and their mom pretty poorly because again Ray would just kind of deem his his way about behaving and how to treat people and all that stuff kind of weighed on Thomas or Dominic I should say and then he in you know in response to that listened to Ray and he kind of you know he's recollecting all these feelings and how he treated his mom and more importantly how he treated his brother who just died and just coming all that so all this stuff is boiling up in, in Dominic and we just see him let it all out right so at this point you know this point in, at the episode Dessa was an unfortunate way a Able to make it to the funeral but you know she's talking to Ray and Ray's embracing her and we all know these people right in our lives you know similar to a Ray character well we know these people we know their good side their bad side their ugly side the side that you'd never talk about with others and we see in Ray you know he's embracing all these people uh and talking to Ta Dessa like oh I missed him this that and the other and you know like I said Dominic hears that and he just breaks down he calls him out he calls himself out and I thought that scene was just so powerful both actors and within that moment obviously we'll talk about Mark Ruffalo for sure fantastic actor but we see him and Ray going back and forth and just you feel that tension right this is a tv show it's written it's scripted but you just feel that tension because this show does such a great job of building to that moment again we didn't spend every single episode with Ray but the moments we did spend with Ray we knew we know this history we know how he raised these boys we see scenes like we saw in this episode of the, the abuse that Ray uh you know put upon Thomas and his mom and we see just we see that there right so 
we all might know that person, and not necessarily saying people that abuse, you know, your your mom, your dad, your brother, sister, whatever. Case, but we know people that we know their darker side, but then we see how they can embrace other people with love. And you just wonder to yourself, why don't they show me that same love, right? So that scene was very, very, very powerful. Uh, and we see, you know, him and Dessa have a little bit of a moment in the kitchen as they're washing dishes. Um, this uh, again, this episode was just so fantastic, such a well crafted finale, satisfying finale, if that's the word. You know, again, very tragic stuff happening this episode but just such a well written and well acted finale but as we kind of transition like I said man I was just torn apart um you know uh, I'm so invested in the story I'm so invested in the characters that I teared up in that scene it was just that was probably one of my favorite scenes in the entire episode and one of my favorite scenes of the show that that funeral scene was fantastic so we see Dominic drags you know his grandfather's story out of the trash kind of goes back into see you know diving back into the past we go into the past and we see all that kind of play out where we see a young Connie taking care of her da- her dad at that point. And this is in my head again. If you guys remember my my theory, I think it was either episode one or very early in episode two. I said I think that their grandfather is the dad as well, and we kind of find out who the dad is, and we'll get to that point. But we see all that kind of play out, and then this is where the moment where it finally kind of things kind of play out, right? Where we're starting to get the little breadcrumbs and the Easter eggs on who their father might be. So we see that the dad is eating dinner and blames the second wife for putting uh, glass in the food. He investigates that. He you know has her thrown into a loony bin or had her thrown into the facility but then this is the moment where as soon as I saw this boy dancing with Connie I said that's the dad so we see her dancing with this gentleman and this is before Connie or the uh, second wife was thrown to the loony bit but we see that they're you know Connie's dancing with this Henry Drinkwater as soon as they said his name is Drinkwater I'm like that's the dad that's their father I know it I don't care what else happens in the show that's the father and we'll talk about that towards the end but as soon as that happened I just kind of knew at that point in time I have it in my notes now is that their dad uh and then you know they even mention the dad as he's writing his book the last line in his book was you know we know she can keep her secrets and as soon as he said that I said no that's not a matter of him having you know doing the unthinkable with his daughter but no it's secrets you know she's keeping a secret to herself which is her love for Henry and we know how that plays out as we'll talk about a little bit later but you know I'm I'm so uh, you know at that point you know we're seeing the Dr. Patel and Dar- and, and Dominic talking about I, I, correct me if I'm wrong but I didn't know that Dominic thought that their grandfather was their actual father until that moment he was sitting with Dr. Patel again if he mentioned that earlier in the season let me know but I don't recollect that I don't recall that whatsoever but um, you know that was the first time I heard him say that Uh, but either way we see that Dr. Patel encourages uh, Dominic to you know visit Ray because things kind of ended badly and you know Dominic thinks that there's this curse and she's like go talk to Ray you know and we see how that plays out as the episode kind of unfolds we see Ray has had this tragic this really bad uh heart attack uh a major heart attack and we see he's in the hospital and again at this point I'm just like Dominic and this family cannot catch a break you know after losing his mom after losing Thomas and now everything that's going on with Ray after losing his daughter after losing his wife I'm just like it just adds on and on and on and on so we see this kind of whole kind of montage well, not a montage, but we see these scenes kind of play out where we're seeing Dominic is embracing, you know, Ray. And they have this moment where Ray's on the on the bed and they have this conversation where Ray, uh, Dominic calls him Pop. And then, you know, we see Pop or, you know, Ray call him son. You know, you're a good boy. You're a good son. Again, this is where I'm kind of tearing up again, even though you, we don't get all the integral moments and all the backstory with Ray and all that stuff. But the moments we do get, it, it leads to that point, right? Again, it's earned that emotion that we get at that moment where they're on the, on the hospital bill. It's an earned emotion in my personal opinion. So again, this episode was just so fantastic. So we see, you know, Dominic apologizes to Dessa about everything that's happened. We see Dessa talking to Ray and, you know, all this stuff. This is when the episode just starts to get a little lighter, right? Because everything's been so dark and so heavy, but we see the episode kind of getting a little bit of hopeful. You know, we see Ray finally makes it out of the hospital. They go to Leo's uh, play. You know, we see that Dominic and Ray are now kind of embracing each other as a, as a, not a biological son and father, but knowing that Ray was there for them growing up, no matter the good, the bad, the ugly, he was there, right? So, this is a big moment here. We see, you know, um, and another little hint towards the uh, Bridgewater thing. I think because uh, Dominic asks Ray, you know, do you know who my dad is? And he said, it's wonder, water under the bridge. And again, I'm thinking this is 
drink water. That's their dad, right? And obviously we know that's the case. But, you know, we get the moment that we've all been waiting for where, you know, they're sitting down and everything's starting to look good. And he tells him that his mother, the reason his mother told him on on her deathbed, do not tell them who their father is. Make that promise to me. But Ray said that you deserve this. You, you know, you, you deserve to know who your dad is. And he tells him that his mother was ashamed and he didn't know how he was going to think about it. And he says one word. Henry, as soon as he said Henry, I'm like, yep, Henry Drinkwater. And yes, it, it was revealed that Henry Drinkwater, uh, who's also related to Ralph Drinkwater, Penny Drinkwater, the Drinkwater family, uh, going all the way back to the grandfather on the train, is his dad, Henry Drinkwater. So big, big moment. Again, this is the moment we, you know, this show has been fantastic all the way through, but that was like the mystery, right? Who is their dad? And I was thinking at one point, I was thinking maybe last episode, like maybe they won't even address it because it's, well, maybe it's a story about like raise their dad. He's been there to take care of him. But nope, we get that moment. So let me know if you all, because at that point in the episode, I didn't think anything about the Drinkwater family in regards to them particularly being connected to, uh, you know, Ray and I mean, not Ray, but Dominic and Thomas. But it wasn't until I saw them dancing together. I'm like, that's the dad. Uh, but let me know. Obviously, you know, you can say in the comments if you thought that that was the case. But honestly, let me know if you were just as surprised as I was or if you kind of maybe had some inkling on uh, the Drinkwater being attached to, to Dominic and Ray. So as the rep- episode kind of finishes up, we see, you know, uh, Dominic goes down to you know Ralph's place of work and they have a little bit of a conversation Ralph says oh I always knew we were cousins you know I didn't think that you cared about it I think you want to keep it a secret but he kind of knew but that's where he tells him that yeah you know uh, Henry Drinkwater was my dad and they kind of have a moment and you know Ralph's like oh you want money he's like no I don't want money I just want closure and then they have a little moment where he says hey I I would like to come visit you in the future uh, if you're okay with that and so a little bit of a new family, you know, now that, you know, unfortunately he's lost Thomas, he's lost his mom, he lost, you know, everything. And, and now he has this new family that he can kind of embrace. Right. Uh, which I thought was really awesome. So, you know, it was just, um, you know, you don't pick your family, right. You, you don't pick who's going to be your mom, your dad, your brother and sister. So that, that moment there was just so powerful, right. Because now he has somewhat of a choice of to embrace a new family member, right. And to have this new relationship with Ray. And then, the big relationship here that I thought was like uh, somewhat of a happy ending. We see Dominic, you know, painting the house and he says the line, I love when movies and shows embrace their title. He says, I know this much is true as he says, this this is really powerful and really deep uh, felt heartfelt uh, kind of monologue to, to end up the show. We see he goes to the hospital. We see Dessa, you know, doing her volunteering work. And for the first time, I think, and probably since his daughter dies or died, he embraces a child. He holds a child. And I, and I think that's alluding to them maybe amending their relationship and maybe getting back together, which I think would be fantastic. But, you know, wrapping up the, the thoughts, that was the last shot of the episode. I know this much is true. Six episodes again. I know this episode, this show wasn't for everyone, but for me, this just hit me on so many emotional levels. The writing was fantastic. The directing, the directing the cinematography, the score, but the performance by Mark Ruffalo as Dominic, as Thomas, and that whole story being played out by the two kids that played them, by the the, uh, the teenagers that played them, and then obviously, like I said, Mark Ruffalo playing the adult version of them. Some of the best acting I've seen on television in a very long time, and it's so funny, right, because Chris Evans, his, uh, his uh, former Avenger as Captain America, was just in Defending Jacob on Apple TV+, and I think both of these shows show to the audience how great of actors they are. I think sometimes people might forget because they're doing superhero movies, which I know people kind of look down upon superhero movies, but those movies require a lot of, a lot of acting, a lot of attention detail, a lot of commitment. But I think a show like Defending Jacob, which stars Chris Evans, which if you haven't seen that show, definitely check that out and check out my reviews if once you do that. But this show, Defending Jacob, and then this show here, the I Know So Much True, shows you how much range, how incredible those actors are. And Mark Ruffalo, deserves every award you know him and Chris Evans should go hand and you know to go at the uh battle each other for the awards because they gave such great performances in, in in their respective shows but Mark Ruffalo did such a fantastic job of playing both characters I'll give him one up over Chris Evans because he played two characters and did did a beautiful job at playing Thomas tragically playing Thomas and then playing Dominic who has this anger who has this tragedy has this background 
two great performances, supporting cast members from, you know, Ray, Leo, Dessa, uh, everyone involved in the show did such a great job. Like I said, I know it wasn't for everybody, but it, it worked for me entirely because, again, you can't pick your family. You, you kind of not settle with your family, but you have to learn to embrace them. You have to learn to love them no matter their faults. And I really love that aspect of the show and dive into the mental health aspect and how people with mental health are kind of ignored and how everything we saw with Thomas was just so tragic. But this show is fantastic. One of my favorite shows so far this year. Uh, I can't I can't speak highly enough upon it. And again, that performance with Mark Ruffalo was incredible. But man, again, this has been a journey. This has been an awesome. Not a, like I said, it hasn't been a, necessarily a fun show to watch, but it's been fun interacting with you all and talking about the show and breaking it down and, and, and having these conversations with you all. Again, I thank you so much. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the your favorite characters, your favorite moments, your least favorite moments. If there were any criticisms I have with the show or maybe in particularly with the episode was I wish we'd gotten more time with Ray uh, for some of those moments that we didn't see him from a couple episodes. Um, and I wish we would have gotten a little bit more from the Thomas character, a little bit more of, you know, his day-to-day life in the facility that he was in with Hatch. Uh, maybe a little bit more background with, uh, you know, Lisa, and Dr. Patel, but th- that's just very, very minor things. Uh, my favorite episode probably still is that crazy dream sequence followed up with the sequence with his, you know, the episode with his grandfather father just all the episodes were fantastic but those two episodes really stand out to me so yeah like I said in the comments let me know your favorite episodes your favorite moments your pros your cons and and again if you've read the book let me know how accurate this was to the book uh, because I think this was a fantastic show all around uh so yeah thank you all again for watching this review thank you for watching these reviews of this show uh i think the next show i'm gonna probably be watching is doom patrol on hbo max uh i don't know if i'm gonna watch this new show uh something mason that's gonna be premiering next week but i don't know let me know what shows you're excited about i have a lot of content coming this week for movie reviews and other things of that nature watch alongs and things like that so again if you all are new to me by these reviews check out all my other content hope you enjoy the content hope you stick around so thank you again for watching this video. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.